Things seemingly get weirder in Mario Lara's piñata shop. Objects continue to fall off shelves and the popularity of the store keeps on growing as more people visit the store for a tour. As a matter of fact, some well-known Mexican YouTubers visit to document a tour in the store for their channels. Brace yourselves, because things are about to get daunting. Teams of documentation are prepared. Mario decided to livestream the night of November 12th due to the fact Mario invited many paranormal investigators to document the store to see if anything would occur or to see if the presence of something much more than human was present in the store. There was a huge crowd of viewers of the story who were gathered outside the store just watching from afar, while on the inside the investigators gathered together and began to film. The power in the store once again was out. While they made their way to the store, faint noises could be heard throughout the store. Not much happened since Mario did cut the live stream short. I just sent in an order to make a copy of the piñata. I hope this works and things begin to get better. Send good vibes. As odd as it may sound, I honestly do think this could probably work. Once Mario got rid of the piñata, the activity did seem to get stronger. So maybe if the entity believes the piñata that it's so attached to is back, then maybe things could probably calm down a little. But if the entity could probably tell the difference, then there could be serious repercussions. This is every day. Alarms, alarms, alarms. And it does not let me sleep. I got the simple solution for that. Put the phone on mute or turn it off at night and I guarantee you, you will get a good night's rest. That's the secret. That's it right there. Just put your phone on silent or just turn it off and you'll be able to sleep like a baby, I swear. I have just checked the security cameras and to be quite honest with you guys, I have tried to make everything with humor, but then I see these videos and it takes over me completely. I left the new piñata that I bathed in holy water visible to the security cameras and this happened. Honestly, I don't think it was the air. I don't know what to think. What should I do? I want this to end. I want a normal store. Oh no, Momo did not waste no time. It snatched her weave all the way across the store. I mean, this means that Mario did not fool that entity at all. It knows that it isn't the original cursed piñata. This is the equipment setup I am preparing in order to do streamings of the store so you could see them live every night. There are still certain things that I am missing as well as good internet. The idea is to have super clear images from the back of the store at any time. This is something to look forward to because so much could be captured. The only problem I see with this would be the lengthy video footage. I mean that would take forever to go through. Little incidents in a casual day in my store. <laughs> que voy a hacerle unos arreglos y todavía hay que montarla de nuevo. The power tool turned on right as he passed it. This is bad business right here. The fact it can turn on a tool like those, I mean, God forbid he has an accident involving one of them. Oh, little girl.
Making a new piñata that looked the same as the original did not work at all. It was able to spot the difference because now more things are flying off shelves and it even holds the power to turn on dangerous tools. With all the bad things going on around there, Mario got semi good news. Not so long ago, the shaman sent me some coordinates of where he left my piñata. Which one of my homies that is near the tono wants to accompany me? I don't know, this just doesn't sit right with me. Just because why send him some coordinates in the middle of nowhere? And why this sudden change of heart? At first the shaman had been avoiding Mario and even went far enough to block him so he wouldn't be able to contact him. I don't know, I think maybe getting the piñata could be a bad idea. He might be letting in more evil. I am going to look for my piñata. They just sent me coordinates of where it's at. Mario gradually makes his way to the piñata on his live stream, where he explains that he received instruction of where it could be located. He states that the person said it could be found in an abandoned car. As he continues to drive, you could see that the road he is taking seems to get worse as he gets farther into the location. The road seems to be in the middle of nowhere. About 13 minutes in, Mario can no longer keep on driving forward so he gets out on foot to search for the abandoned car. He continues to walk in the middle of nowhere looking for the car. He explains that he feels scared and feels like someone is observing and following him from a distance. He continues to move forward and as he does, he spots the car. Mario realizes that the piñata is in the bag, so he grabs it and makes sure it is in the bag. Then he makes his way back to the car. He places the piñata in the trunk and finally makes his way back to the store, but little did he know that would not be the end of his trip. <laughs> After the scream, Mario stepped on the gas and started going faster after being visibly shook from what he heard. In his desperation to get out of there, he loses control of his car as if he saw something as he was driving. After being disoriented for a couple of seconds, Mario grabs his weapon and exits the car to investigate. After looking at the damages to his car from the impact on the rocks, Mario begins to run away from the car. He starts with a slow jog, but then all of a sudden he begins to run faster as if he was running away from something or someone. That is where the live cut off. It remains a mystery what Mario saw that caused him to lose control of his car and make him run away without saying anything. To where exactly did he run off to is unknown, but it is clear he wasn't alone. There could be screams heard, and I would say it was the shaman, but there is no way he could have predicted what time Mario would decide to go pick up the piñata. If you ask me, I think picking up the piñata could worsen the problem since it is unclear what the shaman did to it while he had it for all those days. 
I don't know guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you think the return of the piñata is going to result in undesired events. Make sure to subscribe with post notifications on so you are notified when I update one of your favorite stories. Everybody stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video.